Welcome to the 2012 SFA Homecoming Parade. As you see here, the police are joining with our fine men and women of the ROTC along with the SFA Marching Band. I'm Richard Hayfley. Alongside with me is Nicole. Nicole, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, Richard. Thank you. Nicole, tell us a little bit about the marching band here. Well, the marching band is coming with the Twirla Jacks and the Color Guard, and I believe all three teams will be going to London this New Year's to perform in the New Year's Day Parade there. It's very exciting for our very small school here in this lovely town of ours, Nacogdoches. Let's go ahead and get a listen real quick and see what they've got going on. That was the SFA Lumberjack Marching Band, the boldest sound in the oldest town. Hey, up next, it's the baked potato himself. It's Baker Patillo. Dr. Baker Patillo is our current university president, Richard. He's a very nice man. He is, and he's looking rather dashing in that purple tie of his. Up next, we have Jordan Dukes, our student regent. And here is Carlos Amaral. He's a member of our Board of Regents, Richard. He is rocking that nice Thunderbird right there. Very dashing in his purple suit as well. Seems to be pretty fired up, and the crowd loves him. Up next is Curtis Sparks giving it to the crowd. Here we have Seville Harris and Casey First. They're Mr. and Miss SFA from last year. Really representing SFA there. They are. They're two of the sweetest people, Richard. Here we have children of the court. These are two children chosen each year. They're uh, children of alumni. Future Lumberjacks, I'd take it. They are, and they get their nice little 15 minutes of fame here in the downtown parade. Oh, and look at this. We have the Traditions Council characters, Mario and Luigi. That referee seems to be doing some discipline right there behind him. I wonder she what, does. I wonder they're what kind of trouble they're getting into, Nicole. And here we have the homecoming court. Up first, we have the senior king and queen, Carl Hayes and Claire Cook. They're followed by our senior Duke and Duchess, Travis Shera and Sarah Dubeck. Up next is our underclassmen court, junior Duke and Duchess, Darius Moore and Jalea Davis. And here we have Camry Taylor and Dustin Shera. These are our sophomore Duke and Duchess. Freshman Duke and Duchess is Dustin Mock and Carla Rubio. And hey, look at here. We've got the Sylvania Color Guard. They're twirling their little batons there. They are, Richard. I believe we call these future twirler jacks. And they will uh, probably be forming here at a SFA football game in the near future at Homer Bryce Stadium, wouldn't you say? I would. There you have it. I know when I was that little, I couldn't do that and probably still couldn't do it today. And here comes our first float, Kai Omega and Sigma Alpha Epsilon. Rocking the Game Boy, going old school. Very nice. Good job, guys. And here we have the uh, Mike Moses Marching Band. Pretty good sound quality for those youngsters right there, wouldn't you say? They're sounding great this morning. Let's take a listen in. Got some bad news. What's that, Richard? You just suck my battleship. What? That's right. This lovely float brought to you by the Yellow House. Yellow House is a student ministry here on campus. You know, they're some of the most spirited students. Look at that. The battle belongs to the Lord. Here we have Delta Zeta and Tau Kappa Omega's float. 
Rocking the old school casino machine. I like it. Those girls are looking very nice in their purple shirts this morning. And the crowd loves them, Nicole. And here come the Girl Scouts of San Jacinto Council, Pine Burr Service Unit. Look at all those young ladies. I bet those are going to be some of our leaders of tomorrow, Richard. Hey, Nicole. Can you guess who in the game of who? I can, Richard. That's the guys of Kappa Alpha and the ladies of Chi Omega. It's a wonderful float they got there, incorporating all the Milton Bradley games from the Fighting Robots to Twister. And I do believe, yes, that is. That is Mousetrap in the back. Very creative. It is. And their guess who features some of our prominent females of SFA. We've got the Lady Jack cheerleader and Mrs. Patillo. Very exciting. And yes, that, uh, that poor soul got caught with his cheese. Hate it when that happens. Wonderful float. Following the float, we have some of the members of Kappa Alpha and Chi Omega. And here we have the Spirit Organization Award winners. It's Gamma Kappa Omega, followed closely by the Central Junior High School Marching Band. Let's get a listen in. Next here we have Tri Delta and Sigma Chi's float. I believe it's the Olympics. It's very decorative with all that purple and white and uh, got that gold medal right there. Hey, look at that. It's Surfing Steve. Good job, guys. Look at that in the back. We've got the SFA Lumberjack winning gold to the Nickel State Colonel. Up next, it's the Resident Hall Association providing great fun with living on campus. How's your poker face, Richard? It's about as good as Lady Gaga's, Nicole. Those dice are pretty elaborate. I like them. Up next, here's Sigma Alpha and Alpha Gamma Rho, the agriculture fraternity and sorority, pulling their float by tractor. They're going with that uh, Mr. Pac-Man and Mrs. Pac-Man theme. I'm liking it. It's very creative. Good job, guys. It's uh, like the ghosts are from Nickel State. Good call, Nicole. Here we have McMichael Middle School Band. Great job, guys. Here we have the spirit teams riding the Appleby Fire Department fire truck. And those cheerleaders are smoking. Oh, Richard. Here we have SFA's international students. You know, we have students coming to SFA from all over the world. Let's see. Pretty creative to see what kind of cultures they have there. Hey Richard, have you ever been to Zip Nack? It's one of Nacogdoches' newest businesses. Looks pretty scary with that spider there. It is. I bet the zip line's even scarier. (laughs) 
Looks like they're, uh, what is that they're passing out there, Nicole? T-shirts. They say, go purple, stay purple. Very nice. Uh-oh. Could it be? It's a fire-breathing dragon, Nicole. It is, from Nacogdoches High School, the Golden Dragons. And hey, thank you, uh, Mr. Kenningham, for uh, putting that dragon back together, for bringing it back to life. Good job. It is, and thank you, Key Club, for coming out this morning. SFA is bringing a little bit of magic to the parade with the Harry Potter Alliance float. Looks like they're taking in a favorite game of mine, Quidditch. Good stuff there. Promptly followed by the Chemistry Club. I believe those students are dressed up as water molecules. Did they just yell react? I, I, I think so, and uh, I think that's the process of how you make water. How clever. I, who would have thought it was that easy? And now they're dancing. Well, water makes me happy too, Richard. Here we have the early childhood department with their float. Look at all those kids. They look like they're having a great time. They are. Smiles on their faces. And you know why? Because it's game day, baby. It is. SFA Charter School's up next. You know, SFA and Nacogdoches have a great education program for teaching students. Looks like those kids are uh, staying warm there by their little torch that they're carrying. I like how they incorporated those little handprints there, getting the little kids involved. They did. The Junior Jacks. Yep, we have some parents of the students at the charter school, it looks like, bringing up the rear. Looks like they're carrying some more medals there. Got the bronze, silver, and gold. Still SFA Charter School with our theme, Let the Games Begin. It's kind of fitting on how SFA actually had a uh, soccer player, Kylie Lowe, representing her country in the Olympics. Here we have Student Activities Association. You know, they do a lot for homecoming. This year they brought Aaron Watson to the bonfire to perform. Did you go to that, Richard? I did. It was very exciting. I had a good time, and uh, they backed the Jacks, baby. Here we have the International Interior Design Association, along with the American Society of Interior Design and Interior Merchandising. Looks like their float is Hunger Games themed. May the odds be ever in your favor. Nicole, I, I don't know. Looks like something's about to go down. Oh, no! The Lumberjack is kicking butt and taking names. You go, oh SFA. <laughs> and here's Alpha Kappa Alpha. Thanks for joining us, ladies. I've got spirit. Yes, I do. I've got spirit. How about you, Nicole? It's the SFA spirit team. Oh, look at this, Richard. Oh, no. It takes talent right there, Nicole. It does, and a lot of strength. Well, here comes Get Cap Head Start following the spirit teams. We are all in the games together, Richard. Got a couple of kids and their families there. Great way to get the community involved. Here's Zeta Tau Alpha and Delta Tau Delta's float. And there, it looks like Mario and Luigi have made an appearance again as they're protecting Peach and her castle. It's just one big Mario party. It is. And up next is the uh, Texas Home and Health Center. 
keeping Nakadoches healthy. Looks like they've got a theme of a uh, twister there going on. Always a fun game. Followed by alumni. You know, Richard, I'm excited to graduate and become a part of the Alumni Association. Up next, it's the Nacogdoches Medical Center Explorer Post. Here we have TEAM, the Environmental Awareness Move. It's one of our eco-friendly organizations here on SFA. And I like how they're going green and uh, actually walking their little signs there and no cars. They are. I didn't think about that, Richard. That's right. Here we have Pinecrest Kids following. Axe and Jacks. And the Christ Episcopal School. We have a lot of schools here in Nacogdoches being supported today. This is also Christ Episcopal School. Very good job right there with those cards that they made. And here we have royalty for the Nacogdoches County Heritage Festival. Our Lady in Waiting, Elizabeth Castleberry, followed by the Princess in Waiting, Miss Taylor Phillips. Nothing says royalty like a GT Mustang. And last but certainly not least, our queen, Miranda Runk. Uh-oh. We're old school here. It's our so Eric Thomas Foundation. <laughs> Nothing like an old truck for a small town Nacogdoches parade. That's right. Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the truck is not quite as old school as we at first assumed. <laughs> All right, and here's our Golden Jacks class of 1962. They don't look a day older, Nicole. They don't. We should probably say 50 years young. And to make sure that this parade was nice and safe, you've got it finished up with the Nacogdoches police protecting your hometown. That's going to conclude it for us. I'm Richard Hayfley. And I'm Nicola June. And this has been one successful homecoming parade. Until next year, y'all take care. <laughs>